Hello everyone, it's me, Emilio Emilio Soto Soto, R&D at Medicine Games, here at San Diego Comic Con 2022, our first time at the Comic Con in San Diego. We have our UFO theme booth, we have this giant airfield UFO, and we're here in the main hall at San Diego. We are giving out spoiler packs with holographic cards from the UFO set one week prior to the actual release and our release event at Roswell. So, meeting lots of new people, lots of new fans, and of course, interviewing our artists and opening some packs. So, let's get to it. Welcome back everyone, we're here with Jet Jates, one of our Metasu artists. How are you doing, Jet? I'm doing wonderful, thank you very much. <laughs> what was your first card that you made uh, for the company? The very first card I illustrated was the Pink Mess of Goose Creek Lagoon, which was my first assignment, and it was very scary and daunting working on it, but it turned out really good and I love the guy. What, what was scary about it? He was just described as like a pink amphibious creature that lived in deep lakes. I was mostly just concerned with not designing something that represented the creature. Um, properly for the card game. It did turn out great. It's a, <laughs> one of the Earth's favorite cards, and that was for Wilderness. So yes. now you're also in UFO. Yes. Um, for UFO, like, what were the cards that you really enjoyed making? So I really enjoyed making Agua, the okay. big two-headed snapping turtle yes, guy. Yes. Um, I used to own a snapping turtle, so it meant a lot to me to get to work on him. And that's one of our rares of the gold, right? Of the yes. Chest, or one of our headliners. Yes, absolutely. Yes. Uh, any other cards that you like? Um, I also did Ancordi Anteater, okay. who's a crazy looking guy. Yeah. He kind of looks like Swiss cheese. A little bit of, yeah. <laughs> but um, he's really cute. Afton actually designed him, but I got to oh. draw him for a UFO. Any other car that you enjoyed making? Besides, um, I mean, you made a lot for this set, right? Uh, I made about eight of them. No. Uh, I only made those two beasties for UFO. Okay. I worked on quite a few Terras, though. I did the Special Lake Terra which I, is one of my other favorite cards that I did. It's got the stars bouncing off of the lake. How much easier or harder is it to draw a beastie versus, you know, a tear or a spell? So, so beasties have to go through a long process of like design, uh, making sure it fits within the lore and having attacks and stuff. Even though I, I do enjoy doing that part more, it does take a lot longer to design the beasties than it does the terras and the auras. Well, thank you, Jen, like as always. Amazing to hang out with you. Yeah. <laughs> so Absolutely. I hope that you learned something new about you know the artistic process. And yeah, <laughs> let's go uh, to some other openings. I guarantee this is hollow. Wow. Okay, that's a big statement. Big statement. Oh, we got this. One more. Ooh, water's full virgin. Hollow. Full hollow. Hey! Yeah, that's that's what we wanted. Yeah. That one goes right on top. Nice. Wow, Bane. What a hit. So we're back and now we're with Isaac Sky Lee. How are you yeah. doing today? I'm doing fine. I'm doing really good. <laughs> Great. Yeah. Uh, and you are actually one of the first uh, winners of our first art contest. Is that right. correct, right? Yeah, yeah. So your first card was, remind me, what was it? It was called Altamaha A. What was the process um, for making that beast? I did what I do now as a Metazoo artist. I just did a lot of research and I looked at a lot of references and then I just tried to match the aura type and then, you know, it just ended up looking nice. We're gonna move on to UFO, right? Like this is the release of UFO. And right. We would like to learn your, you know, maybe your the three cards that you really enjoy the most out of UFOs. So Sabertooth Tiger is going to be my favorite BC that I made. And then the spell Water Submerges, I think it turned out pretty. All-time favorite though, Dragon's Rise. Dragon's that Rise. One, as a hollow, it looks amazing. So I love it. But, yeah. No, yeah. And also gameplay-wise, it's actually a very important card. So we'll see how our players figure that one out. When you're making spells versus beasts, do you have a different process? Spells, I do try to reach out to MZOs or like the staff to make sure I know what it's doing so that I can get something that relates to the spell. Well, you're doing great. Thank you for being with us, yeah. Isaac. Thank you for sharing the process. No problem. We hope that you keep getting a lot of beasties so you can keep doing that, you know, that, those designs that you love. I yeah. appreciate it. Our next artist is Pancho. You've probably seen the black envelopes and the horror of his art, but today we're going to be talking about UFO specifically. So, um, 
Pancho, let's start actually with the first card you made for Metasu, which is actually making their de its debut in the UFO. Correct, the uh, Crawfordsville Monster. Uh, it's the very first Beastie that I ever made. Uh, it was my trial run, if you want to call it, yeah. uh, into Metasu. Uh, it's out as a sample, and only a sample. What was the process for that first card? Did you get like, you know, like a lot of information where you're completely free to do it as you imagined it? Well, I ended up like just drawing this disgusting, grotesque, eldritch creature. <laughs> and so it took me a while to actually adjust into like a more like Meta's style, I guess that. Yeah, we well, it, and it's you know it's evolved a lot, right? This is the yeah. insight to the first, the early days of Meta's making a sample card of all things. Mm -hmm. But definitely, uh, the process has changed a lot in yes. terms of you know maintaining the Meta vision. What's you know another card that you really enjoyed making for UFO? Uh, overall, the, my favorite card in the whole set is uh, uh, Black Knight Satellite. Well, and shout out to Wade, who was hosting the Caster's Cup. That's the promo that he made, the, the mechanics, right? Right, yeah, yeah. Wade uh, reached out to me and really wanted uh, <laughs> me specifically to do it. Uh, so I jumped at the opportunity to do that. Yeah, and a little insight, that is our best-selling deck here at Collecticon. Everyone wants a Black Knight Satellite. <laughs> so it's everyone likes it. Yeah, That's great. Glad. And um, there's a little critter in UFO that may not follow the dark aesthetics that we know. So, you care to talk a little bit about the T Rex? Yes, mini, <laughs> so Mini T Rex. Mini T Rex was a strange one because literally the lore of it is just that it was a T Rex like creature located in southern Texas. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> and I was just like, uh, you know, like, screw it, I'm gonna add a cowboy hat and some boots. <laughs> <laughs> the whole shebang, man, and I added the Spurs white too, just to have the, just to have it go all out. And luckily, they they went for it, and uh, that's what we have now today. Yeah, it turned out great, and it's also gameplay wise, this is my side of things. It's actually a very interesting card too. So we'll see how our players, uh, you know, allow it to play we'll just, out. Yeah. We'll see how the whole de uh, the whole new set impact came. You know, thank you for talking with us, uh, Pancho. Um, excited to see our next stuff coming up in Seance. We think that you're gonna, we're gonna see some really exciting stuff there, right? Very, very exciting. <laughs> I'm excited for that one for sure. Yeah, me too. Mm -hmm. uh, well, well, that's it with Pancho. Uh, let's get to our next interview. Oh, thank you. Oh, very nice. Oh, and we got the glistening beach rock. We are here with our artist, Afton. How are you doing, Afton? I'm great. How are you? Great, and now we're gonna talk a little bit about your, you know, journey in Metasu. So, what was your first card in Metasu? So, my first card was a C2E2 promo. I did it for the Chicago right. convention, the infamous C2E2 promo that got <laughs> lost on the way. <laughs> Ended up being considerably rarer than I think anybody planned. Your first cards were in Wilderness, though. Yeah. Right? Okay. <laughs> but we are moving from Wilderness to UFO. Yes. So, what are your three cards that you really enjoyed making for UFO? Four is friends with a lot of fun, just because. I got to add a unicorn in it. <laughs> so the description was basically like three cute forest beasties like frolicking together. So as soon as I saw that, I knew I had to do the art for that. I did the lightning walking yan, which was a lot of fun. It's just like this big thunderbird. And then the sky snake, which was possibly one of my favorites to design. It was a, it's a big dragon, but I kind of did him at sunset with a lot of reds and oranges and yellows. So that was a lot of fun to do. Yeah, no, all, all great cards for sure. That, the forest friend, it's one that I'll keep my eye out. It's, yeah. it's one of the goals, right? Yes. So, beasties, spells, terras, of course, there's a lot of thought that goes into the beasties to keep in track with the Metasu world. So, what is your take? What 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 do you prefer drawing? Um, I would say, honestly, in terms of ranking, it would be that order. So, beasties, spells, artifacts, I really like character okay. design, which I've been studying a lot since I started working for Metazoo. I love, like, picking out the palette. I really like doing the different designs. Like, for Sky Snake, I sent probably four or five different heads and just coming up with different yeah. concepts. So another project that you'll be involved is the figures that are coming out for yeah. uh, some of our favorite beasties. Do you want to share a little bit about that? Yeah, so I think that we're going to show the Haudag and the Manta Ray, but one of the very first projects I did actually before I even was brought on as like an actual staff member of MetaZoo was the Dark Watchers figure. I think that oh, was my second okay. my second project ever. For the figures, you have to do basically every single angle. So front, back, side, top, down, bottom, up. Yeah. So you have to think about the beastie in a way that you wouldn't before, so having to draw those angles is actually really good practice, and it definitely familiarizes you with all the details. Out of this 
you know, wave of figures. That has to be my favorite oh. that I've done so far. Oh, oh. oh there you go. <laughs> but I'm, I'm very excited for those to release. Okay, well, Afton, as always, a pleasure to talk with you. It's always um, great to talk with you. <laughs> I love Emilio. <laughs> I love we did Afton. a deck together. Yes, we did, actually, yes. Okay. Uh, the, on sex. Yes, the lightning deck. Lightning in UFO, so check that out. And thank you for sharing. Of course, of thank course. you. Everyone, thanks for watching. We hope that you enjoyed the pack openings and our artist interviews. Remember, we'll be at Roswell on July 29th for the official release of Metasu UFO. Check us out there and check us out at metasugames.com. See you next time. It makes you wonder what and possibly who else is out there.